praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Hakadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who rule well. Yahweh's name in the heavenly Father it means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves. Or Hakadosh is the name of the Holy Spirit in, in Hebrew. The First Thessalonians five and three. While people are saying peace and security, destruction will come upon them. Suddenly, Jeremiah 4 and 20, suddenly my tents are destroyed in a moment, my shelter in a moment, waves of destruction roll over the land. Proverbs 3 and 25, do not fear sudden danger or the ruin that overtakes the wicked. So, what's, what's, what the wicked have got coming for them is, is sudden ruin. You know, they, they're in their place thinking that their houses are going to continue forever. They think, oh, this is just a blip. But as uh, another brother was saying, he was uh, talk about the the Russian ships are in Venezuela now. So it's they 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 I don't know why, <laughs> you know, like it's it's uh, a strong delusion is sent to them, you know. Well, let me see if I can find that scripture. But there is. You know, a strong delusion is sent to them. Proverbs four and twenty four and twenty two. Uh, uh, Second Thessalonians two and eleven. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, so that they will believe the lie. They they can't see what's going on, man. As much as let's get the let's get the hold of that bit, but um, yeah, man, they can't see what's coming, man. And for me, you know, for us, look, it's clear as day. You like it's like. It, could it be more clear? You, you guys are gonna get it. all the signs are there, but they, you know, they they're saying I sit as a what is it? I sit as a queen, and I shall not endure any loss. Or, you know, my house is gonna continue forever. You know, they ain't, they ain't, they don't know how serious this is. And the man of sin. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, and by the gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind nor troubled, neither by it by spirit nor by word nor by letter, as from us, as the day of our Lord is at um, Yahweh Shai is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except that they shall be a fallen away first. So, some Israelites is going to get shook and get taken out of the faith, and that a man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he is so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God shewing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what withholden that he might be revealed at, in his time for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way, and there shall be the, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of the mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. I think I need to go over that again. For that they shall not come except there be a fallen away first, and the man of sin will be revealed. So they at this at this time, the man of sin. Esau, Edom, Amalek need to be. They, that's that's already happening. That's I can see that happening now. I can see the falling away first. I can see a lot of Israelites coming out with the bugged out doctrines. I said that in my a, a couple of lessons. Other brothers have been saying that. And a man of sin being revealed. A lot of people are chatting about them JJs, man. Let's see what else it says. Who opposeth and exhorted himself above all that is called God. So he, he he thinks he's above God. You know, he he tries to set his nest upon upon the stars. You know, and 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 all of this technology that he's adding, the MOTB, is so that he can have complete omnipresence and try he's trying to be like the most high. And he knows that he can't create another world like the most high so he's trying to create virtual worlds that's all he's trying to do he's he's basically trying to put himself in the position of of the most high trying to do his works 
But actually, we can see it. Everything, you know, when when the wicked are in authority, the people mourneth, man. Everything that he touches, mashes up. It says in the scriptures, they, they shall build, but I will throw down. You know, he, he can't, he's not going to be able to, he's not coming back up. You know, he's, in Job, it says he, they've set the bounds for, for which he cannot pass. He ain't going to be able to come back up. He ain't coming back from this. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what was, um, hold on, uh, called God, uh, who opposes and exhorts himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he, so that he's, he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, shewing himself that he is God. You know, if you go into them um, Masonic temples, they all talk about the worshipful master sitting in a particular throne or a particular chair, having a different perspective, such that the ladder uh, reaches the top of the pillar that nobody else can see. For everybody else, it's meant to be, be a mystery, but for when you sit in that chair, you see a different thing. Yeah. So that's how it's trying to be, like, everything. He's trying to be like the God, sit in the temple of God, seeing, you know how God sits in the temple and takes counsel from no man, seen in, in uh, prophecy of Daniel. Because he sees all, oh, all, oh, oh, your eyes like a, a flame of fire. You know, what's it, 10,000, or 1,000 times brighter than the sun. So that's what he's trying to be, see it, being all, seeing all. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you. No, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you of these things, and now ye know what withhold what withholden that he might be revealed in this time. You now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So he's going to be given like only he, the, the most high, will, who's going to allow it to happen, will let that happen until he's taken out of the way. You know, you know what is was is withholdeth. You know what's been held back, but i.e. the um, the destruction of this man, and his and and the destruction has been held back so that he can be revealed. This is what Paul's saying. You know, and he has to be. You know, you have to remember that in context, man. They've got to, they they had like they had their own JJs there at the time. They couldn't speak freely. So he has to talk about yeah. Now you know what's you know them them things that is <laughs> that is that ain't gonna you know that, that that the Lord is 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 holding back. So that um so that in his time, the the wicked will be revealed. But he can't say can't say oh yeah, these Edomites or whatever, or, this, or Amalek. He couldn't say that in this time. Too dangerous. For the mystery of the iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until the, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all the power and signs and lying wonders. You know, he's going to have all these powers. Who's he, he? Who 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 operates on the left hand side? Who's who's his artwork is after Satan? You know, like Satan meaning the the devil's deceiver. Satan, I think, is adversary. Well, this is the uh, Satan with a capital S meaning, you know, the spiritual demon. But um, he's working after him. You know, his physical counterpart. With all the power and signs of lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. So there's some people who are 
predisposed to doing wicked. The wicked are strange from the womb. You know, they, they go about uh, speaking lies as soon as, as soon as they are born or something like that. Some people, there's a certain type of person who loves to have bloody meat. They love it. It's wicked. I, and when, but I say, when I say it's wicked, I mean in the sense of the, uh, of the Bible, you've, you've got the idea that there's the wicked and there's the righteous. And wicked is when you don't follow the scriptures and the righteous is when you do. Not with the, I'm not using the term wicked in the most common or colloquial modern definition. You got the wicked people, like they they be chatting about their bacon sandwich. Oh, I love a bacon sandwich. Oh, yeah, I love it. Well, yeah, medium rare or rare as more as rare as possible, please. You know, strong drink, defileth himself a strong drink. Where's that? Another scripture. Love their beer. Love their pig. Love their blood. Love their alphabet crew. I used to go to when I was at uni, man. Only be the, those cats dancing with you know men dancing with men in the in the clubs, man. Then it used to be like a joke thing, but you know, and their thing is always like at a party. One of them would wear a dress or something. That's a joke thing. But it wasn't actually that funny. But they liked it. Oh. Yeah, man. Going about killing, taking lands by violence. I mean, if you can't figure out who the wicked are now, by now, this this truth ain't for you, man. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They receive not the love of the truth. That's to say, that is a gift. You know, when you, when you can hear the truth and it touches something in you that resonates in you, that is a gift. And for this cause, God Yahweh or shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. They can't see it coming. They got warships. Putin has been saying to them, "You're pushing my buttons, bro. I and I got I got these I've got these nukes, and against these nukes, you've got no defense because they're hypersonic." The Kinzhal missile, I think it can reach from uh, Russia to the United States in about 20 minutes. But they've got the ships off the coast of Venezuela. That... And now Putin's born in Israel. And that's in... Um, Where is that? I said that before. And it's not me that's saying that because that's in the scriptures. Gog and Magog, I think it's uh, Isaiah chapter 38 or something like that. Let's see. That he's going to go into the green and pleasant land. Putin is going to make a move on Israel. It's already written in the scriptures. It's like we've got the playbook. We know when it's going to get real. We know when, well, you know, as it says in the scriptures, a woman in labour, he, he, he's going to come like a woman in labour. Because the... The timings are going to get shorter and shorter between events, between these happenings.
so we don't know exactly the time that the that new israel will be born but we can tell by looking at the signs how close it is to happening but nobody's going to know when because you know as your your how shy said he, he, he hope the master's hoping to return to the house and catch half of his servants with, the, with, with their pants down so he knows who the real ones are. Let me finish up. That they should believe a lie, that they should all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Well, that's the wicked for you. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because... Yahweh has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief in the truth. So if you believe in the truth, you you know that's a that's that is a, a there's a sign there that possibly that you've been chosen from the beginning. But unto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, hold the traditions which ye have been taught whether by word or our epistle uh, to think epistles the doctor let me see what let me look that up what is an epistle epistle a poem or other literary work a book of or of the new term so it's like a published work so whether someone someone so one brother tells you, and a brother that you trust, not some bugged out IUIC member, but someone from GMS, let's put it that way, an elder from GMS. You can't see it in the Bible, but they, they might say to you, look, this is how you hold the Passover, whether by word or by our epistle. Now our Lord, Yahweh Shai himself, and Yahweh, even our Father, which has loved us and have given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work, a good word and work. And, and I can't put anything more on that, man. That's just beautiful because it's like, it's like Paul, I think it's Paul that wrote this letter to the Thessalonians. It's like he's writing to us now. But from all them times, he's given us comfort for the time that we're about to go through. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raha Kadosh. Thank you, GMS. Thank you, elders. Thank you, Akim. Shalom.